This is Linda Carver now and welcome to another edition of Walking Through Life. Today I'm very excited because I'm here at the Upper Valley Aquatic Center and today I'm interviewing uh, Richard. You're the executive director here? That's correct. Yep, been here for three and a half years. So how do you like it here? Ah, I love it. I was down in the Boston area for about 13 years and I was just dying to come up to the Upper Valley so I'm really happy to be near the mountains and in the fresh air and no traffic. It's, it's awesome. I think one of the things you want to talk about today is the nonprofit status of the Aquatic Center. Could you maybe tell um, tell us more about that and what's involved in the nonprofit here? Sure. It's interesting because one of the things that I find as I go to chamber meetings and so on is that uh, a lot of people don't understand that we actually are a nonprofit organization. So. Um, Part of what we're trying to do is, is get people to understand that because that helps with the funding and the grants and also lets people know that we are trying to make the uh, facility as affordable as possible to people who would normally not be able to afford such a nice venue as this. Right. And that's important, I think, for people. And I know you do a lot of specialty work with people with physical therapy or uh, and I know you've got some wonderful personal trainers and things like that. And if some of the funding that's coming, that's uh, that we're doing for the nonprofit thing. I understand it's not only for that, but it's also for kids' swim lessons and uh, like uh, water aerobics and all that kind of good jazz. Right. The first program that we really started uh, was for the second and third graders in Hartford. We provide free swimming. The town rec department actually buses the kids over here after right. school. And we put about 40 kids every uh, session through that program. And it's somewhere around 120 to 150 kids a year learn to swim or develop their swimming skills. And that's part of our mission to sort of drown proof the community because drowning is the number two cause of accidental death for children under 14. Absolutely. And I know you, you worked out some deals with the fire department does some training here. Um, in the, do the police department do too? Not the police. Well, we're uh, going to have to get on that. <laughs> Hear that. Yeah, we have a great uh, program with the fire department. They actually got a grant and uh, we train their people here as part of that grant. And actually, one of the firefighters the other day said that uh, you probably heard there's been some grass fires around. And yes. they had a, a grass fire and they had to be running up and down a hill. Mm -hmm. And they said because of the shape that they're in now, they really had no problem getting the equipment and the hoses and everything else back up and down the hill as opposed to a year ago before they really got onto this fairly intensive program. Um, some of them would have been suffering a little bit. So uh, that's been a great program. Um, and you mentioned earlier about the physical therapy. Yes. One of the things that we do is that, um, especially with insurance companies now starting to cut back on the amount of treatments that they'll pay for, uh, once a person is finished with their, uh, with their insurance program, we have a number of physical therapy partners that will refer them over to our trainer. Um, they'll get two free personal training sessions with a trainer and we'll talk with their physical therapist about what type of training modalities they should be doing or not doing that's safe for them. And they get a 60-day membership here for $60. So it's a really good value for people to continue on a little bit of a maintenance program after their therapy. Absolutely, you know, and, it's, it, and that's so important. I mean, you know, I remember I took the, the program of Dartmouth Functional Restoration Program, came here afterwards, and this is, this is just a continuum. This is not something you just stop. 
you don't just stop and you just continue and you continue and, and the, the people here for me work very well with that and I know I've noticed that you've had um, programs like that offered here too for, for people with pain issues and you know really need to uh, yeah, we have a new program called NKT, which yeah. really isn't, uh, it's not really part of a, a grant or nonprofit, it's a fee-based service. Yeah. But I think if we sort of head back into what we talked about with the medical yeah. uh, things, we have a, a grant that we got for uh, breast cancer survivors. It's, it's based oh, nice. on the PALS, and I'm sorry, I can't remember what exactly PALS stands for at the moment, but um, uh, it gives people who have have to deal with both the physical and the emotional trauma of losing a breast or even a double mastectomy. Um, they go through a, a program and it gives them um, a sense of uh, taking control back to their lives. Um, they get exercise and the camaraderie of being with a group of people have gone to through those similar things. Um, and sometimes it's almost like a therapy session as well, yeah. it's just the, the physical uh, part of it. So that's a very successful program. And I, I think it's I, I think this is a wonderful program not only not only for say the, the, the things that I need but also there's such a array, uh, large array of people that that benefit from coming here you've got people that have got mental illness that working out and exercising really helps them and learning how to eat healthy and that's some of the programs that you that you offer here too and it's just about quality of life you know and uh, having something to do every day. And if people can look at this and realize that you're not only covering uh, kids, you're covering kids, you're covering adults, you're covering seniors, you're covering survivors. Um, and as a nonprofit, I can imagine it must be kind of hard to do some fundraising. Yeah, we've, uh, we're actually having a pretty good year this year. Oh, that's um, good. But um, yeah, normally, uh, because of all the programs we're involved in, we start to run out of money right yeah. around this time of year. Because most gift giving seems to come in in the fall. People are thinking about taxes and yeah. and all of that. So uh, we get a lot of our funding uh, just before Christmas. Uh, but this year we were fortunate to get some other grants that came in. Um, actually, yesterday I got uh, acknowledgement of half of the grant that we were looking for to provide some uh, summer camp for uh, uh, especially working families that can't afford it. They've got their children at home, they can't afford daycare, so you have these latchkey kids with nothing to do. So we are able to put uh, kids through our summer camp program, which starts in June. Last year we were able to do 10, this year we're hoping to be able to double that number. So, oh, that would be but I just got my uh, half to check yesterday, and I've got a bunch of people waiting, so I was able to deliver some good news to those people. Oh, we're yeah. going to be able to get their kids in their summer camp. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, and as far as the fundraising, we do some things. Uh, we do a joint fundraiser we just had early in April uh, with um, with Second Growth, and they're yes. another good organization yeah. for uh, that helps kids uh, in the area. Um, so we had an open house. We call it our Spring Fling, and it's just a fun day for our members and their families and guests. But also, we do a spinathon as part of that. So uh, people pay fifty dollars for the bike, or people if they don't want to ride, they can donate yeah. for next year. If you want to donate, but you don't want to get in a spinning class, uh, we will put, put riders in the seats based on your donation. Um, and that was a great event. We brought in um, almost $7,000 this year for that. So wow. that all goes to help uh, support a lot of these programs, both for us and for Center. And I know a lot of people, they can't attend or they can't come, or but maybe they have enough funds where they can see this program and really want to sponsor a child or, or sponsor some of the programs. Can they absolutely like send something to you, like a check or something? They can send it to you. For yeah, that's a great a question. There, there's a couple of ways to donate. Um, one, if you look at some of the banners that are back here, those companies have actually donated money, and they get the banner to acknowledge their uh, donation. Most well, of that cool. money that comes to support our free Learn to Swim program, which right. I already mentioned. Yeah. But we also offer uh, financial aid to any family that can't afford to come to the facility. And that's based on a sliding scale um, uh, that uh, on how much the family, how large the family is, and how much income they have. But uh, we, uh, at this point, we're just about halfway through our fiscal year. We've probably helped. Uh, well, the last number was that I knew was 58 families and about 20 individuals, um, and that was a month or two ago. So it's probably a little bit higher than that. So they actually get memberships to bring their family in, and it's really nice to be able to see some of these people that might be dealing with 
all the other emotional and physical uh, and financial issues to have a yeah. fun place to come with your children. And you know, that is that is such a gift to people that don't have much, you know, is to have a one place like this and have a wonderful program like your financial aid that uh, can help them out. And I, don't, I don't know if a lot of people know about that, you know, know about that you offer that or... Well, it's Whatever. definitely growing. Uh, this yeah. year, for sure, we have we have helped already twice as many as we did last year. Yeah. Last year, we helped twice as many as the year before. So that program is growing, and as long as the funding is there to help with that, um, as long as the donations good. keep coming, yeah. we'll donate. And the other thing we found, I just mentioned second growth, but we also got a grant, a joint grant with the Family Place. Oh, nice. So uh, they have a, a program, an exercise program, they're trying to deliver on site because we all know that. People who are thinking about exercise and trying to become more healthy have a little bit easier problem dealing with addiction problems and, right, and, exactly. and, and uh, you know, obesity yep. and depression and all yes. of those things. So, um, getting this money uh, through the family uh, through the family place, we are able to give ten families on a rotating basis membership and access to the facility. So, people who are staying there and want to come over here. Um, can actually get that membership for the time that they're still at the family place. So uh, that's another awesome program that uh, we've rolled out in the last two years. Yeah, and, and you know, I, I think it's important too because a lot of uh, myself being obese and overweight and everything, it, it, it takes a lot to get me going. It's a lot to get me saying, okay, I can do this. I often think, well, I'm too big, I can't do it, I can't do it. But I have been encouraged here so much to, yes you can, yes you can, instead of no you can't, no you can't. And I, I just feel younger every day. That's I might great. be 54, but you know, sometimes I feel 18 now. You yeah. know? All right, we're good. Yeah, I feel pretty good. Yeah. So, you know, and I just want to encourage everybody, this might be something, you know, you don't have to look at yourself and say, okay, I'm a V, so I can never do that. But it's trying. And One of the things it. that we found in the past with, uh, People who want to lose weight and feel, you know, they've got body image issues. Yeah, is that, exactly. Uh, you know, health clubs are not for them. Right. They have this vision of everybody who's healthy and yeah, you know, yeah. running, right, right. women are on the treadmill with their pony pants. Yeah, know, yeah. That, that's just that's just not the case no. here. As a matter of fact, uh, almost 28 percent of our members are actually uh, 60 and above. Mm -hmm. So um, we well, I'm really. I'm not there yet. That's <laughs> right. So when you talk about uh, you know, the people that you might see in the community, that's who you're going to see here on our facility. It's not just about all kinds of healthy, young, fit people taking aerobic classes. You know, yeah. all our classes are designed specifically to accommodate people of all sizes and shapes and ability levels. And all needs. And, so, and it's just, that's just something that I think is a, a good asset to, to everybody, is that, you know, whatever your needs are that can be met, you have people that are going to help you with it. And, you know, if you just keep going, it's what, like I was told, you just keep doing and doing and doing, and you're going to feel better. And our trainers and instructors are very, very comfortable with yes. this population, so yes. they know that. The other thing I should point out is that, you know, if you do have issues with, um, you know, weight, obesity, and usually there's knee and ankle and hip problems going yes. along with that, working out in the swimming pools and some of the water exercise programs we have, and the buoyancy right. helps to support that weight. So you feel a little bit more comfortable. Plus, one of the beautiful things about UVAC is that we have two pools. Yeah. So we have a competition pool for the swimmers that we keep at 80 degrees, which people that are not as aggressive at swimming, that's too cold for them. Then we have our leisure pool with the lanes and the programming. That's at 88 degrees. So people who are going to be running those programs or our swimming programs, especially for younger kids, um, you know, those water exercise programs in that warmer pool makes it a lot more comfortable. Yeah, absolutely. And I know you got, the, and then you got the splash pool over there for the kids. But, you know, I, I remember uh, coming in here, I think a couple of years ago, went into the warm pool to swim, and I saw the Lazy River. Yep. And I remember somebody said, if you walk against the Lazy River, that, that would be kind of like a good aerobic, and it really helped me. I'm There's actually, that again. in some of the marine bases where they've actually built these types of things, and they actually have a water walking class that the Marines walk against the current. Yep. And I don't know if you've tried that yet, but, yeah, it's, hard. but it's it's really hard to walk against that yeah. current. You've got to really. Yeah, I remember really, the kids, some of the rivers, it was like that. You know, I remember that. It's really hard. 
Yeah. It was like you just get, I, when I was a kid, I just give up, okay, I'm going to float down the river. <coughs> Well, you remember if you had the above ground round pool when you were a yeah. kid, you get everybody going in the same direction, yep. and then you try to work against the current. Yep. Well, that's what we've got here. It's fun. Now, I want to talk a little bit about the fitness room, too. How many machines you've got in there? I know you've got uh, quite a few. You've got weight machines, treadmills, bike, uh, arm arm bikes, and uh, you've got the mats for working out and all the hand weights and the weights you lift. And it's just a, it's a wonderful fitness room. You've got a lot there. And, you don't have to feel like you're alone because you've got people there and you know, people that will help you out too. Yeah, I think, uh, again, one of the benefits to here, I mean, we've got the usual amount of uh, treadmills, ellipticals. Uh, we just replaced all of our cardio uh, like in January, so it's all brand new. But one of the nice things to help eliminate the boredom, besides the fact that here in the Upper Valley, we have all glass in the front of our building, so you can look out in the changing seasons and the weather up on the beautiful hills up here. Yeah. Um, and there's a lot of natural light in this building. But um, all of our cardio machines now actually have uh, an independent viewing screen. Yes. So you can watch TV mm -hmm. or you can actually plug in your own content if you want to bring your own uh, you know, uh, uh, tablet or whatever and, and watch movies or TV shows and do whatever. So that, that helps eliminate the boredom quite a bit. Yeah, that the bike machine has something like that. that Trail yeah. Yep, but uh, the Expresso bikes actually have um, 20, actually more than 20 different uh, different levels and rides, and it's 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 a virtual reality kind of a ride, and uh, you can actually set it up so you can ride against your own ghost. Yeah. So after you've done you've, you've done one of the rides, um, it'll track your uh, track how fast you went. So the next time you go, you can try to beat yourself. Yep. So you can compete with yourself, or if it's an internet-based internet bike, you can actually ride with a friend of yours, even if they're not here, against their best nice. ride. Nice. Yeah, you probably don't know how to do that. Yeah, yet, no, should, I don't. I know that, how so. to do the, the video. They showed me how to do that so you can get the trails. Yeah. And you can you know, keep track of what you're doing. It keeps track of all your stuff, and there's contests and other things. Yeah. Um, but it's good. I mean, I uh, when I set my record, I was doing a lot of biking about two years ago on that program and uh, I just started again getting ready for this season I'm like 20% slower I hate seeing myself I can't keep up with myself it's great I know, I know. It's, but I can tell you one of the, one of the things is I, ha I have this trike at home it's one of those big trikes never been able to ride it was given to me two years ago never been able to ride it I gotta tell you I got out there yesterday and I took it down the road I was so proud I went up four times I can't wait to tell wow. Don right, I can't wait go. to tell him what I did I mean that's just it's just like a milestone for me. Now I have transportation to go anywhere I want. You know, my legs are are strong enough to do it. You know. Good. That's one of the. That's that's important. Uh, we're actually working with Dartmouth Hitchcock Hospital right now for on a grant for uh, senior strength and balance. There, yep. there seems to be, first of all, you know, falls when you get to be older become a very significant problem. You end up with a nurse in a nursing home sometimes. Yeah. You break yeah. Up. So. Yeah. Uh, trying to reduce the incidence of falls among older Americans is really, really uh, important. And um, there's also, they're finding now, there's a relationship between uh, strength and balance when you get to be over 60 and possibly Alzheimer's. So though the research is oh, really out. Oh, so I didn't know that. the hospital is really big into trying to uh, get some funding for all this research. But um, I'm hoping that by fall we're going to be delivering a really unique interesting um, strength and balance program for yeah. seniors too. So. Yeah, I think that would be helpful, yeah. Because there are a lot of people, once you, once you get older, it's hard to get moving, you know, and I think it's encouraging that you've got a program like that where, you know, so we can feel like, you know, I'm not 60, so I can't speak to 60, but, you know. I felt like that this winter, just put it that yeah. way, I did. I was a lot of pain. Well, it was a tough winter. <laughs> if you yeah, were ever trying to do any snow removal, or even oh, yeah. getting the snow off the top of your car. Yeah. I mean, it was just, it was just yeah. Yeah. Now, we'll talk about some of the other spaces you've got. You've got um, workout rooms where they do a roll and uh, Zumba. Yep, uh, our group exercise includes Zumba. Uh, we've got programs specifically for children. Yep. Um, the, uh, our, uh, a lot of our small group personal training programs are delivered there. And now that the weather's nice, actually, we go outside. We have an outdoor training area. Nice. And if you've ever seen the show, The Biggest Loser, and they do yep. all these crazy things, we're not quite that crazy, and we don't like 
push people quite like that show does. But uh, we've got big tires, and they use the sledgehammers, and they've nice. got ropes in the, the, the battle ropes and uh, and uh, TRX straps, and they do a lot of stuff on site. So that's a that's a lot of fun too. Yeah. We do try to make sure that. Most people in the audience are probably saying, oh, exercise, oh, God, I'd rather just have my teeth pulled. But uh, if, you, if you're part of a class and, and the instructor is fun and you're having fun with the people in the class, we try to bring that element in so that it's, it's, just, it's something you look forward to coming be with your friends, doing something positive. And the other thing I like to uh, talk about that we've encouraged here is we call it the Club Without Walls. So, it was just a group as you were coming in. I don't know if you noticed, they just came out of a class. But there's like 25 people that in any given day after this class, they all go out and have coffee or lunch yeah, or whatever together. Yeah. So they, they've created this, this this bond with each other that goes beyond just what they do here. So right. that being, you know, that extended community is really part of what we are trying to do here. So. And they have small groups, big groups, whatever. And, they, and there's another thing I want to talk about too is the daycare. The daycare room, which I've been in there once before, and it's just wonderful. And the idea behind that. Uh, well, we know that people uh, that have children that, that aren't in school, especially, uh, have trouble during the daytime finding a place for their children. So we obviously want to have a spot that's uh, that's great for them. We have some curriculum-based programs and some themes. So instead of just plunking a child down in a little room and maybe putting on a TV with a movie on it or a cartoon. Uh, we do art and crafts, we do coloring, uh, we'll, we'll take them out and do, uh, uh, we have a little play area outside, and, um, and, and it's just a nice, uh, it's a nice environment. So if the members have a family membership that includes their children, that's free. So you can come in and work out, leave your children for up to two hours in there, um, and they've really bonded with some of the staff. I kind of love it when the parents want to go and the kids are all crying yeah, they have to drag them out. Yeah. I don't want to, I don't want to go. Yeah. Uh, because that shows that we're really doing a good job in there. And people trust that their kids are having a good time and are, uh, and are being uh, you know, watched over by somebody who cares. And we do uh, vet every single employee in the facility and our volunteers all go through a, a fingerprint and background check. Well, that's important. you got to make sure you have that. You don't want to mess up with that. And talk to me a little bit about this summer and um, people coming and wanting to use the group. Well, uh, when it comes to the nonprofit stuff, as I mentioned earlier, we still have some money available. So anybody that uh, would like to participate here but thought that you just can't afford it, uh, just need to either go to our website, www.uvac, that's U V A C, swim, S W I M, dot org. Uh, and, um, org and uh, go for the uh, look for the tab that talks about uh, community and uh, financial aid and if you can't find that just give us a call and uh, and we can we can pick it up here we can mail it to you we can email it whatever you fill that out we meet every Tuesday just to review how many we've had and how much money we have and so on and usually within a week people will hear about how they would qualify yeah. uh, to be able to participate so uh, in some cases, most cases, it's 100% covered. Yep. Others, uh, it might be a small copay. Yeah, uh, whatever they can afford. I think that's important, too. Um, yeah, because, and, and to the audience out there, if you're thinking about this, and, you know, maybe you haven't got a lot of money, but maybe you've got a little bit of money that you can kind of maybe donate to the aquatic center to think about the children, the family, the people that could really use this place. And of course, they're going to need money to, to finance um, these services. So I would encourage you to call Richard, or you can email, right? They can just yeah, email us. They can, they can donate online if they go to our website. Again, uvacswim.org. And uh, the information is there. Or we encourage people just to come on in and walk in, and, and we'd be happy to show the, the place to you. And, uh, show your families around. We do offer open houses periodically. Like I said, just a couple weeks ago, we had our spring fling. It was open by free will donation. So some families said, I can't afford anything. That's fine, we let in. Uh, other people gave us $5, $20. Some people donated $50, which is even more than it would have cost. But, right. You know, but they could afford it, and it was a good cause. So uh, it was a great fun day. It's, it's really encouraging to hear that even people 
that haven't got much money are donating. But that's important, I think. Even if it is $5 or $10 or $15, you've got to think about you helping the family and helping children. You know, and I, think that, I think that's great. And another thing, the last thing I kind of wanted to talk about because we haven't covered it yet was the spinning room in the uh, kids' school. What's in there? Yep. We have a, uh, again, if you go to our website, you'll be able to see some of the, uh, the features we have. But we have an indoor water park. So there's actually, there's a, there's a 110 foot curly Q slide that uh, goes outside the building. Really? Uh, uh -huh. uh, and then it lands back inside. So you go up the, the stairs, it's about a 25 foot stair. You go down the slide, it curly Q's around, it's a big pipe, and then you show, you land back inside the, uh, inside the facility. And uh, I know there's people that sometimes drive by on Route 89 and they've seen the building and they, they thought it was some kind of a high-tech manufacturing plant yeah. because they can see the tube slides sitting outside and they always wonder, what is that thing? Well, that's a big slide. And uh, we have smaller slides and uh, features for the younger children, the, uh, the indoor lazy river, as we mentioned. And the water fountain. And the, uh, and the various features with fountains and yeah. buckets that dump water on the kids' heads and all yeah. kinds of things. Some are controllable so the kids can actually nice. turn some yeah. of them on and off. So. If you're coming out, if your dad's coming out of the bottom of the slide, you want to soak them, you just turn the thing on and they get more water sprayed on them. So it's, it's a lot of Yeah, fun. they can do that to aunts and grandparents too. So you know. <laughs> that's true, yeah. <laughs> and the spinning room, that's uh, what they got, like a couple of spin bikes in it? We have 20 bikes. We 20 offer, bikes yeah, we wow. offer uh, certified spinning classes. All of our instructors are Mad Dog certified. And, um, and, uh, that's another one of those programs that people think of oh, spinning. That's really these hardcore exercises. That's really not the case. Um, you can get on the bike and uh, and ride uh, to a level that's, that's appropriate for you. So even though the instructor may say, "Okay, we're going to stand up and, and do a big hill," if that's beyond your capability, you can stay in the seat and uh, and you can kind of fake it too because one of the the ways you control how hard the exercise is, there's a knob that you can change the resistance. So when you're going up a hill, the instructor will say, give me a, a half a turn or a quarter of a turn. And you can make like you're turning it and not actually turn it. So you can still ride at the same pace. You see that? He's telling you how to cheat. That's not good. But you know, once you get comfortable in the class, you'll realize that you, you know, that nobody's paying that much attention to what you're doing. And again, it takes away that fear that a lot of people have. I can't do that. It's uh, right. I'm not as good as those people. I'm not right. as strong. I'm not as yeah. fast. And, One of my know. things always was is I don't want to get in the pool because I got cellulitis. That was my thing. But you know what? We all got some, or at least when you get over 40 anyway. So I would encourage people to come that do have cellulitis. That way we can all hang out. We'll all have cellulitis. We'll be together. We don't have to worry about it. Right, and once you're in the water, you know, nobody, nobody can, can see, see you anyway. your head anyway. So. Yeah, did you know you look skinnier in the water? I know it's Oh, that. is that right? Yeah. Jeez, I better get in there a little more often. Yeah, me too, me too. But I know we're getting towards the end of the show, and I think this is a very good information show. But I do want to encourage everybody out in the audience to come and check it out. Talk to Richard, come donate, come uh, spend the day here. We do have day passes, right? Yep. Anybody in the facility, you don't have to have a membership. You can come in and just uh, buy a day pass. Um, Hartford residents do get a discount, so if you're a member of uh, Hartford, um, you pay a little bit less for that. That's good. Uh, bring your families. Uh, after 6 o'clock at night, Monday through Friday, it's half price, too. So uh, that's another way. We do have some uh, classes after 6 at night, group exercise classes, um, that, are, uh, that are, are very popular. That a lot of people who are not members say, you know what, I can't come, or I'd like to be a member, but uh, even if I can afford it, I just can't get there all the time, so it's not worth it for us. But you can come as a non-member and pay that uh, day pass fee and have access to all our facilities. So. I noticed you've got a wonderful snack bar down there, too. So you do have snack bar and access to drinks, things like that. So. Yep, bring the kids. And yeah. you, can, you can bring a little snack, or if you forgot it, you can buy something there for them and, uh, and spend the day. Actually, in the summer, it's a great way to come over and... Uh, Come inside, spend time in the pool. People will sometimes go back outside and play for a while. Yep. We have, a, we have an outdoor basketball court in the summer. Nice. And uh, picnic tables and a tent outside. So you can bring your lunch, you can show up, pay your day pass fee, go in the water for a while, go outside, have lunch, come back in, whatever. It's, it's a great place to go. Well, I think we're about time to wrap up, but what I want to say 
is that this isn't going to be the last show. We're going to do more shows. We're going to get to know uh, some of the trainers, some of the babysitters, and whatever else you've got up your sleeve. Yeah, we'd, we'd love to be able to feature some of the things that our swim team is doing. Oh, uh, that would be huge, great. A huge swim team. Yeah. And by the way, participation on our swim team is also, there's some financial aid available for that uh, as well. Yeah. And, I, and, you know, I just want to say thank you to you and to everybody that worked here. It does such a wonderful job to make this facility run. Thank you. It's uh, really a pleasure, and I'm, I'm so happy that you invited me on your show. Yeah, and I'm looking forward to doing more shows with you, Richard. Um, the last thing I think I'd want to do is to give the Aquatic Center a phone number, so if people want to call. Yep, it's 781. I'm sorry, that's my... Yeah, yeah that's yours. 802-296-2850. That's 802-296-2850. Give them a call. All right, this is Linda Carver, I'll say goodbye for walking the light today. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.